Amen. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year, Paramatta. This is a beautiful and awesome day. Did you turn up and on again? To come into Paramatta and share with you a message which is from Jesus Christ. He wants us to share with you that he loves you dearly and wants you to accept, to open your heart and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. If you have not received Jesus Christ into your heart or if you are not born again, it is important for you, people of Parramatta, to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It is important for you to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. It does not matter if you, ha if you think you have a lot of money, if you think life for you is so wonderfully well, one day you're going to hit the wall. One day you will hit the wall. I'm going to read from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 13. The truthfulness of the gospel of God says, Greater love, praise the Lord. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Wow. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. Hallelujah. People of Parramatta, a lot of you have heard about Jesus Christ. I've heard about Christ. Somehow, you've turned yourself away from him. There has to be a reason why. Allow me to share with you. The Lord Jesus laid down his life for you. He laid down his life for you and for me. No other shepherd before or after him ever did that. So he wasn't the first to be crucified, but he was the first to be crucified in the place of others, people of Parramatta, surrendering himself of his own free will. He could have been delivered or he could have delivered himself from his captors as they led him to the cross. He could have, but he didn't. People of Parramatta, he chose to go on and die for you. He chose to go on and died for me. It wasn't that he had no option. He was driven by love. So Jesus did everything. He did because he loved you. He loved me. When he declared his purpose for coming in St. John's Gospel, it was that we might have life and that we might have it to the full. In John chapter 18, verse 37, to this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Wow. He came to bear witness to the truth. You know, in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So God took his son. He loved you. He still loves you today. If you have not received Jesus Christ, 
If you have not opened your heart to Jesus Christ, I urge you to open your heart and receive Jesus Christ into your heart. You know, as you go through your days, the year 2017, the mighty man of God, Pastor Chris, declared 2017 is the year of Jubilee. Let me use another word. The year of expansion. The year of spreading. So come. There are mighty men and women around me. We also have two lovely sisters here on the table. They will pray with you for healing. And enjoy your day. It's a new month of the year 2017. Have the best month so far. The first month of 2017. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.